are you doing? I want to show you my new dress I bought. Because I told you I bought a dress. Yeah, I did. It is a long sleeve dress. And, uh... Oops, that's one of the lenses. So, floor length. And, uh... That's the kind of stuff I bought. Now, by the way, I actually, when I made, got a successful flash, I unfortunately forgot to verify the CRC on the chip. So, it doesn't work. Uh, the car is stuck. Now, the good news is, is I ordered the device. Uh, there's a actual programmer that will program the chip in situ, um, which means that think of it as a lifeboat or a um, rescue EMT, okay, kind of thing where you can basically actually upload the suffer in the f in the ROM in situ, so you don't actually have to take the chip out. I mean, you can if you wanted to. If you want to be like Lewis Westman and manage to figure out how to do with tiny little chips like that, somebody suggests you can short pins on an eight on the, um, the ROM. But if you've never seen how small those little holes are, or those little pins are, they are ridiculously tiny. I wouldn't personally recommend you do that, only because if you do and something goes wrong, you are going to be not only stuck with potentially a burnt out chip is Mr. Too Hot Soldering Iron or it's going to end up being that you're going to bridge pins together and then you're never going to be able to get the solder off. Oh, not good. So, unfortunately, I really decided it would be better to order the the, uh, the special programming to equipment, which was not that expensive. Well, I wanted to get into cell phone repair anyway, so it's perfect. You get the chip, the soldering tools, everything you need. Like, okay, like a soldering rework station, they're not really that expensive. In a way, I felt like I was, as Lumi kind of jokingly told me, you were robbed. <laughs> Talking about the, the programmer, I paid it, bought it on Amazon. And she says, you could have ordered the same one from China for, when you paid for $33, you could have bought the same one in, from China for about 10 I'm like, yeah, but then I have to pay shipping. I don't, and then... It's going to take me a couple couple weeks to get here. At least now this is only going to take me about a week to get the thing. So, um, now, um, that's, that's one thing I'm going to tell you right now is besides the program is going to have another advantage. I install all the software as recommended by the, the person mentioning the flashing options under Windows 10. I think originally the software was designed for Windows XP. I'm g I don't know if it's going to work on Windows 10. I do have a Windows XP machine as well. So I do have one that it's sitting in my closet uh, in my pantry. So, but it is a Windows XP machine. Uh, it does have USB ports, but it's not PCIe, so I wouldn't be able to test the card in that machine. I would have to test it in the other machine, which is the Mac um, our Mac G5. I'm sorry, Mac Pro. And um, I would plug it into the Mac Pro and to be all set to go. And you want to have heard of, or maybe you haven't, I don't know. Let's see how much, let's see if you know, understand what this is, what this does when you short bins one and eight together. Of the, well, it actually rises the chip enable to high state by connecting it to the 5 volt pin which is 8 so when you do that you're actually you're disabled the EEPROM so with that disabled when the card boots there's enough information in the card which is the card's ID that tells it what it is this, this part's in ROM is permanent uh, that tells it for example, what is, what is to do, and all that. Fortunately, I saved the prompt, so I am um, software image, so that's easy. I just basically just get to reload it in. No big deal. 
But it does mean that um, one of my fun things, which I wanted to buy, I had to be kind of furloughed a little bit. Um, but I still have a huge chunk of money left. Um, I'm not blowing it stupidly. Right now, it's regular bill paying day. When I say regular bill paying day, as you know, I do my budget every month, like I do, and it is the first of the month. So, you can see I have my budget sheet, like I always have, and this is how we do things because it makes it easier. So, when I do my budget sheet like this, um, my, my, my regular deposits came in, so I'm all set there. Um, it to also put two hundred dollars in of that money into my savings account in the rainy day fund, plus the regular twenty dollars each month into that. So it means I technically know she start making interest. Although I don't be honest with you, it's a crappy amount. <laughs> Why? Because first of all, we're talking about like one percent per year. APR. That's it. That's all you're making in savings. It's ridiculous. You can do better by going with a 401k or an IRA. But if you were going to go with a 401k or an IRA, you also realize that those are high yield, but they also are high risk. So you don't want to go with an IRA or a 401k if you're investing your nest egg into it. Unless you got the equivalent of an alternative source of income. In other words, you're a financial programmer. <laughs> Where you can basically reach, um, rescue your own beacon from the fire, if you will. Um, so, is it going to be hard to reset this chip in a way? No, by the way, all the other things I wanted to do with the card too, such as um, replace the missing screws and everything all those parts are going to be here around the same time next week so everything's going to be here the programmer the um the screws the heat sink grease the um everything so that's going to be real it's going to be a really good thing for a whole week weekend or week project to basically refurbish the car back to factory um which is nice tweaks but unfortunately for me is um, I've been so wrapped up with other projects that have nothing to do with cards and programming that by the time I actually get anything done, my whole day is spent on the phone. And I end up basically feel like um, some of the little fun projects, like the ones I want to work on, kind of get furloughed. So if you really wonder why I send this, start a project and basically and I basically leave it half baked. Now you know why it's because lately I because it's on um and I'm I'm reaching a higher level of plateau in my energy state that we are starting to see a lot more Michelle on the go and you normally don't see. So that means that all oh, my energy is now being invested into projects and into fun stuff. But that means that I'm also been running a little bit on the hyper side, so which is good because it means it can burn calories, lots of kilocalories. But at the same time, um, it doesn't help me take care of the things that I need to do when I got a million projects and a million irons in the fire, if you will. So every single thing I'm doing is really, really a challenge to get everything done. Okay. It's a fact. Um, so, yes, the other thing we I had planned to demonstrate, um, that item is going to be coming the same time the programmer is coming. So I might just go ahead and demo uh, in the same week two items. Um, now, I didn't start, like I said, I, for the programmer, I installed the software that is told, it was recommended to download along with the proper purchase that was recommended. And the drivers and everything, as I said, though, I think it was originally designed for Windows XP, reading the software information, and not Windows um, 
10. So I have no idea how well this thing's going to work. Unfortunately, I do have a Windows XP machine. I just have to, have to get it out of the closet and get the dust off. Maybe it might be a good time for me to consider getting a new um, PCIe motherboard um, so I'd be able to have a better flashing platform because that card isn't even ATP as how old it is. So, yeah, um, and the problem in that thing is the video card in that thing is built in as crap and it doesn't work well. But, oh well, I digress. And anyway, so that's what we're going to do um, and try to get um, some things done. I'm not buying, by the way, I am not buying the, um, the Mac. I already mentioned that. I am... Um, still want to get a tablet. I actually found a good deal on a tablet. The problem with the tablet I found is, well, I didn't realize I was going to basically mess up my, my BIOS and my video card, so I didn't expect I was going to be buying the, the EEPROM programmer just to fix the BIOS that I bricked. So, <laughs> I can't buy it. Actually, I can. Uh, uh, I really think it's kind of a lower priority right now. <laughs> so that's why I'm not going to buy it right now. <laughs> but, uh, right now, my check, my, 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 my bank is probably probably going nuts. <laughs> I'll transact. I, I spend so many damn time <laughs> transacting out the transactions and the transaction purchases. I mean, I... Even me trying to keep up on my checkbook right now is a nightmare. <laughs> I feel bad for my bank's computer, really. <laughs> so, uh, let's just put it this way. Right now, I think the tablet's going to have to wait a little while. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, I'm glad you like the dress. Uh, it's it's got, it's good because it's going to be very cool in the next few days. And, um... Uh, it's gonna be temperatures are gonna drop. No, we don't have any snow coming, but <laughs> oh well, you know. Anyway, so everybody, I will see you Saturday. Um, wish me luck with all these purchases. And if you decide, if you ever want to do the pin one and eight jumper hack, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're talking a really tiny, tiny chip. <laughs> Good luck with your soldering iron. <laughs> I don't recommend it personally, but if you really feel like trying it, or if you can manage to solder to one of the other lands that goes to the same pins, and I'll potentially burning something. Oh, but if you do it though, please, you need a really, really low power iron. <laughs> We're talking almost like five watts. Or a nice little soldering rework station like a Helco. Don't try to solder it with your typical hardware store special. I already know from experience you will not like the results. I tested, I tested that in some junk parts in the past. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.